Hi, my name's Gavin. You're probably watching this video because you found an old golf ball and are wondering what it could be worth. I'm going to give you some information to help you work out how old it might be, what type of ball it is, and its potential market value. In this video, I'm going to run through the ages of these balls and what they might be worth. The first one is a rare feathery. It's leather stuffed with feathers and was made before 1850. In very good condition, these can be worth many thousands of pounds. The next ball is a gutta percha. Gutta percha was a tree sap, and when it's put in boiling water, you can mould it into a ball. In excellent mint condition, these can be worth thousands of pounds and certainly hundreds of pounds. In this sort of worn condition, they're probably worth about hundred pounds each. The next ball dates about 1910. By that time, golf balls were made by wrapping lots of elastic bands together inside. This is called a bramble because it has bumps that stick out. These can be quite valuable. In this condition, this is worth about two to three hundred pounds. This is a square mesh ball from the 1920s and 1930s. These turn up quite regularly in the bottom of old golf bags. In mint condition, often wrapped in cellophane or paper, they can be worth a couple of hundred pounds. This ball is in very good condition, this particular one, and is probably worth about 40 pounds. In worn condition, they're worth less than 10 pounds each. This is a 1930s ball. You can see it's got round dimples, and whichever way you look at it, the dimple pattern is top to bottom and side to side. Again, a lot of balls like this turn up in the bottom of old golf bags. They're only worth a pound or two each, even when they're in nearly mint condition. The next ball we'll look at is a 1960s imperial size ball. So that's 1.62 inches. Balls such as these are only worth considerable amounts of money if they have a very unusual logo or are in absolute mint condition. And even then, you're probably talking about 10 to 20 pounds each. And here we have some particular rare balls to look out for. So a bramble ball from about 1910, a gutter percha or gutty ball. This one dates about 1890 and then a feathery ball here. This one was made by John Gurley and is particularly rare. I hope you've enjoyed this film. Please like or subscribe to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.